So it's the night of the second day and we really have come a long way. We just got back, took the kids to the pool, made breakfast burritos for dinner, uh, went to the grocery store again today. The, the students have cleared out the store, which is fine. We're just making do. Uh, but there's little projects here and there that we're completing. Right now I'm gonna polish the Stid Helm chair. It's like little things like that that drive me crazy. I see that it's kind of tarnishing and so I'm gonna sit down really quick, take me like five minutes and polish it. I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have three kids and one dog. Rooney, Penn, Leo, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. Okay, so we are gonna get this engine put up on our deck. But this time we're putting it on the inside of the railing instead of hanging on the outside of the railing. So just in case it falls again, we don't lose it. So that is the plan right now. It's dark, so it's gonna be interesting, but we gotta get it done. I thought you were gonna turn the deck lights on. Where are the deck lights? Where are you? I can't find him. The top right there. put back together. That's a giant stroller in there. And it's looking good. Okay, what would you like me to say? Good morning. Good morning. We're just going to get some things done today. Uh, our, our, our main man is supposed to be here, but he can't get a hold of his guys. So he's going to come tomorrow, but we're trying to get him here anyway, because we're trying to leave. Uh, every day that we're here, electricity is really expensive and it's too hot to like not run our AC. We've got to get, we got to undo all the problems that got screwed up while we were gone. All the work that we got done, we have to fix. So we have to start by taking all the varnish that was smeared all over the back of the boat. We got to take uh, acetone and it's going to take us all day, I really feel, to get it all off. And then we'll have to wax it again and buff it out. And then there's gritty, how do you describe that? Up on the front of the boat, it's all gritty from when they painted the windows. Is that what it's from? Yeah. They sent it in so the whole front of the boat has like a gritty sandy texture, just like the tables that were redone. So yeah, it's all fixed. Maybe, I hope it's all fixable, but it's just, again, it goes back to getting work done in other places when you're not here. You have to be here. We couldn't be here because of him. Um, but I think no, you have to be anywhere when the work's getting done. You yeah. anywhere in the states, anywhere because quality control. Or you got to do it yourself, which is what we mostly do. We've learned to do most everything ourselves, but you have to delegate too. When it's kind of one of those, you got to outweigh the cost benefit. So we got to get started. We might do a walk. I don't know anything else on the agenda. Kids want to go to chocolate factory. Okay, it's closed though. But yeah. Never mind. So, pull. That's Cut. it. The acetone is like burning my hands. It's not a fun job. <laughs> so bad. In an hour, I've gotten this much done. It's gonna be a while. We're fixing. 
fixing the bilge right now. Okay. Because that's so I can't important. Get it back into the. Show them, Dad. And so this other it's pump is lower. Crack. This other <laughs> ultra sensor. He's is... a plumber. Oh, jeez. Now show me. And then there's a high water one, right? Like, an even higher one, like an emergency build, basically. Yeah, Leo's bottle is getting focused. Or no. <laughs> and that was, no, no, his little, like, he's a bang popping on his head. Now that's All getting right. focused. Is it going? Some of the red dots there? The red dot there? Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay. Moment of truth. We got two of these things, and we gotta put these in. I can show you right here where they go. Um, it goes right, see this one? This is one, but it's been painted. So it's, so it's right here, Rennie, up here, Rennie. At me, pointing at me. Okay, it's been it's been painted, so it's a different one. But this is the one that that works here. So I'm gonna go put this one back here. Okay. Just in like this. Gonna... There we go. Pop it in there. So this put on the back. There it is, installed, and everything. I just checked the oil, went through the straighters, went through all the, the fuel. These things get bumped all the time when you're not here. Um, checked everything out, and I think we're good. We're gonna start this and see what happens. Brooke, everything looks good. What's gonna happen? Hopefully it turns on and it's good. It is or not? It's just how many beeps are going to happen? Zero. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, good. Is the fan on? The fan still works. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. Here's what's happening. Let's go for it. Yeah. No, it's I don't think it is. I think it's fine. I'll go look. So it works. Okay. So it works, and the reason that there was an error in that other one is Malcolm probably didn't swap the other one back over when he was tested. We're eating spaghetti squash. Last time, Brooke needed help cutting the spaghetti squash open, and she has good knives, but she decided that she didn't want to ruin the good knives, so she had me use the old knives, which are probably still good, but not very sharp. And I did it, and I, it bounced, like the spaghetti squash bounced, and who knows how that happened, but you can just imagine what I was doing. And uh, and I sliced my thumb, like pretty deep, just like the whole thing. And uh, it was bleeding a ton. So she wants me to try it again, but we have new knives. Look at that, new knives. Let's see if it works better. You just want it straight in half? Okay, so the 
new technique is to pierce it in a line where you want it to cut it. Now, I'm absolutely positive that if anyone's watching this, you're gonna tell me I'm holding this all wrong. Okay, now, how long is it in the microwave? Four minutes. Okay, you should but, try cutting it now. And then I'm doing it all wrong and that there's better ways to do this and I welcome those comments because we need to get the oven. We definitely need to figure this out. Okay, now we got it. Let's see if it goes better this time, huh? We're just gonna see I think they're coconut spaghetti squash. <laughs> I'm so hungry. You're kidding. Being healthy sucks. <laughs> oh, you got it. Now what? Uh, three more. That's what you gotta do. I gotta scoop it all out now. Gotta scoop the guts. It's like a pumpkin. So now we gotta scoop the guts. Salt, pepper, avocado oil, and then we do pasta sauce with um, with uh, spinach and cheese in it. It'll be really good, but this is a lot of work. So was that the trick to heat it up? It made it easier, yeah. And then make it easier. Okay, follow me, cameraman Pen. All right, don't trip. Here, Paul. So. We have new camera people, Penn and Rudy, because mom and dad always have something else to do. But look, so we got these belts on here, right here, and we're putting the new belts. You got me on there? We're putting new belts on. It's a fun job. And so we take this, the alternator, and we gotta get it really tight to get the belts on there super tight. Penn, come on in. I can do this. This is not, uh, this is normally definitely a two person job. But we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, it's called spaghetti squash. So, this is what it looks like after you bake it for like a half an hour at like 425. And then what I did is I put sauce and spinach and cheese, and then I, I'll show you, I put it in here. Eat it out of here. Whoa, that is a lot of these. So you just made, you just stirred up one of these and made that? Yeah, you just, it flakes off the sides. Huh. And then you just make a bunch of noodles. So then you take the sauce, put it on here, and then you, I know it seems kind of weird, but so you just stir it in. This is that mushing point. Um, it's super good. This is that mushing point. Pasta. And that's it. Are we filming? Yeah. So we're pretty sure that once we take this off, we'll be able to get to it. Yeah. There it is. Here, I can grab that. That is the pump. Well, it was easier than taking the batteries off. So is that the strainer? Yeah, we're gonna oh, try this. That is so dirty. Yeah, let's go to the sink upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Fruity pebbles in the sink. Okay. Ew. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. I think that's the issue? I don't know, the basket's kind of... Broken? Yeah. Normally we would not do this in the sink. Do we have an extra basket? Uh, Dad's been doing this. The water's been eating my basket. Oh. 
full of steam. No work. Really not that much work, just really tight angles. We got the head of the pump off. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get you the camera no, here. I can't see it. Let me see the camera. It's recording. So what we're doing is we're replacing these. Um, and these things come off. And what I've been told is that it's very important that you put them on the exact same way. Don't flop them around and put this one on this side and this one on this side or else you're in all sorts of trouble. But this area was extremely difficult to get access. Here you go. Okay, can I see those ones? These are the new parts. And some pliers. Those parts are too big, so we gotta look through our spares now and see if we have one. All right, so we have this uh, map here, so we just type in what we want. Um, rebuild kit, and we can see that, that it's gonna highlight where it's at. And, but I know it's in uh, box number 38, down in the last. Okay, so what did we just find? Sea glass. A bunch of it at the beach, huh? Mm-hmm. Went to a really pretty beach. Then let me just clean them. We'll probably go back tomorrow so we can show them this beach, but how awesome. We're gonna make an art project, yeah? Good morning. Say good morning, Leo Petty. Hi. Good morning, everyone. We have to fi uh, not fix the anchor, but we have to test the anchor, change all the impellers in the boat, and do something fun with the kids. And school. And Rooney has to practice swimming because she's got a swim test coming up for her junior guard program in the summer. just coming back from the beach this is our last night in Grenada we've been here for a long time but we came back with an extra an extra person this time and tomorrow we're leaving Grenada which will be Leo's very first cruise underway and I am a bundle of nerves I'm worried he's gonna be seasick and he won't be able to tell me, and I'm thinking all these things. But babies actually, they might actually not get seasick. But they might also, they might, they might get, they, they but could. babies don't get seasick. No, they can. I'm that's saying, what Google that's said. That's a chance. So a chance. I'm curious if any of you cruisers out there. Have babies. Ha, yeah, have babies. And they get seasick. did they get seasick? Let us know in the comments below, down there. What do you think, Penn? I think they. Do you think they he'll be don't. fine? I don't think they There's don't. No get way seasick. he gets seasick. No way. 
I don't think he, he actually gets seasick. In your stomach, on the water. He's already figured this out. Yeah, we'll see. It'll yeah. be an experiment.